Okay guys, now we go on to reading part 3. And this part of reading is same like in academic reading or in gender training reading. Okay, as I said before, whenever you start with any passage, just read the title. And if there is any subtitle, you can read that. And your visualization should be very strong. Imagination actually. You should imagine whatever you read in listening and in reading. That will help you. The role of Swiss post bus. Right? Role of Swiss post bus. Now post bus is a type of bus. So the role of that bus, it means... And then the second uh, subtitle, Switzerland's post buses are much more than just a mean of public transportation means they have more importance one importance is like they are a means of public transportation but they say uh, switzerland's post buses are much more than just a means of public transportation it means we are going to come across a long passage about switzerland's post buses and importance of that and routes and everything Right? So, buson ke baare mein, lari adda and all that. Just start thinking. Questions. Questions 28 to 32. Now, the question type is multiple choice. And luckily, we've got five questions. Five multiple choice questions. Right? Whenever we have multiple choice questions, the good news is questions and the passage, they are in order. And you should know all these things. Where is it in order, where is it not, and all that. The first thing. Second thing is, there will be one sentence in the passage, only one sentence, which is going to match with one sentence in the options. Okay? So one sentence will match with one sentence in the options. Right? Now, action plan. What is action plan? First of all, you will read the question. Only question. You will underline the clue words. Warning, do not read options. If you read options, you're wasting your time. You're confusing your mind, right? So question number 28. When comparing Swiss transportation system to a tree, the writer emphasizes. Now look here. The clue word is tree, right? Because all passage is about Swiss transportation system. Uh, first, you will find the word tree. Listen, listen, listen what to do next. Where you find the word tree, you will read that sentence from the beginning. And then you're going to see what is it that the writer is trying to highlight. What is it that writer wants to emphasize? Okay, now please scan the word tree and start it from the beginning. The first question type out there, that is what you need to start from the beginning of the passage. Found the word tree? Good. Which paragraph? First paragraph and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th line. And 8th uh, line. Now we read it from the full stop. Where you found the word, come back and see where does the sentence start. You will read from there. Please follow me. The Swiss transportation system. And keep in mind, the writer is emphasizing. The Swiss transportation system resembles a tree. Now we get to know what is it that he is going to emphasize. Resembles a tree with the larger branches representing federal and private railways. The smaller branches being the coaches and the twigs being the urban uh, transit operators running trams, city buses, boats and chairlifts and so on. So he just used different parts of the trees and see he's saying branches are this, this is that and all that. Now we go back. Look here, look here. Always deal with multiple choice in, the, in a way that odd one out. Odd one out. out. Odd one go gonna nickel either say get out. Okay. Option A size of post bus system. Out. Cross curve. Option B, how competitive the post bus system is. They did not talk about any competition or competitive. Out. Option D, just leave option C. D pe aaj. Option D, threat to the post bus system. They did not mention any threat. Option C, how important the post bus system is. See that? 
Why? Why? Because they talked about chairlift, train, buses, and all that. Come back here. The Swiss transportation system resembles a tree with the largest branches representing federal and private railway, the smaller branches being the coaches and the twig. Twig, shah ko kehte hain ki, choti si shah ko. Twig, miswak ko bhi kehte hain. Twig. Being the urban transit operating running city buses, both chairlifts and so on, but the trunk that holds the tree together is the vast post bus network. Trunk is actually that network, post bus network. So that means he is talking about importance of it. Trunk is that. Trunk tana. So it's actually that. Okay. So for 28, answer is C. C. And elimination is the best way. Now, please come to question number 29. Trunk tane ko kehte hain darakht ke. Huh? Stem is for the small trees, but you know when you talk about trunk is the part of the tree, I mean the foundation of the tree. Huh? In the last line he's saying that, if you just come back, without which the whole network would not function. What does that mean? It is important. Without that the whole network would not function. That means it is actually that. Okay, now let's go on. Question number 29. What is said about the bus services in the second paragraph? Now look here. What is said about bus services? So you will go to second paragraph and you will see what do they say about bus services. You will have to read a couple of sentences there and then you'll come back. And don't read options before you read the passage. Second paragraph. I'm reading it from the beginning. There isn't an inhabited place in Switzerland that cannot be reached by some sort of public transport. Wow. Huh? Amazing. You should go to Switzerland. They've got good public transport. So what is he saying? There isn't an inhabited place in Switzerland that cannot be reached by some sort of public transport. Then they go on. Federal law and the Swiss construction uh, stipulate that every village with a population greater than 40 is entitled to regular bus services. Now this is what they are saying. Let's go back. He says there isn't any area where they don't have bus. Har area mein bus jati. 40 logon ka bhi gaon hai to wahan pe bhi bus jayegi. That's what he says. Alright. Option A. Villages have the chance to request more buses every 4 years. No. Cross it. B. New routes are often introduced to reflect an increase in population. No. no. Cross it. C. Bus timetables tend to change every four years. No. Option D. Number of buses that call at a village depends on how many people live there. And what is how many people? 40. Well done. D is the right answer. Multiple choice questions, yes, they are in order. I mean, I said this a little bit earlier. Yeah, they are in order. Okay, but these options, uh, I mean, one of these options you got to select, right? Question number 30. According to the fourth paragraph, look how dayalu they are. Now, they are telling us According to the fourth paragraph, what were three-tone homes? Underline three-tone horns. Three-tone horns first used to indicate now listen actually fourth paragraph and you will look for the word three tone horns three tone horn is a type of haran yeah three tone horn first used to indicate so they indicated something in the past let's go back found it the three tone horns got it now let's read from there and we got to see what did they indicate Three turn horns can still be used, talk and na, na, na. we need to look for past of it. Past of three turn horns. Let's go on, on and on. I'm reading from here. This musical language, found it? This musical language started in the mid 19th century when the coach driver could also blow their horns. Now 19th century is past, focus. They said, yeah, mid 19th century. When the coach driver could blow, uh, also blow their horns. A certain 
number of times on approaching the station to indicate the number of horses needing so they were using horns to indicate number of horses needed what's the question the question is according to the fourth paragraph what were three ton horns first used to indicate they used to indicate the number of horses now let's read a how many coach horses required food now let's read on they will talk about food as well number of horses needing to be fed needing to be fed so option a is how many coach horses required food that is the right answer let's read b how long the bus would stay at the station you know this is what called crap bakwas huh some options are like that c how many passengers wanted a meal thank you aapne koi pasuri nahi dali ha good job d how soon the bus would arrive at the station no so the right answer is yeah how many coach horses required food right you say pa 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 three horses right like that question number 31 what point does the writer make about the post bus drivers now listen in ielts every question will give you a clue wo aapko ghumana nahi chahte aap khud ghumte right now the clue word is okay now what point does the writer make about post bus drivers let's go back please look for post bus drivers post bus drivers on the second page of the passage second paragraph found it second page of the passage second paragraph second line most of the drivers everyone there most of the drivers ko underline kar le most of the drivers therefore see themselves as educators and tour guides what do they see themselves as educators or tour guides now let's come back many choose to give passengers information about the surroundings the people who give information about the surroundings we call them tour guides okay let's consider this and we go on chota sa tick kar le we go on because they use the word educationist as well b uh, most are proud of driving buses no c they are required to inform passengers about the sight seen from the bus now sight seen from the bus means khidki se dekho wo dekho chidiya baithi something like that right no it's not that option d they are not allowed to stop for passengers to take photographs not at all some will be no some will be not at all and all that now we are left with option a, a. many choose to give passengers information about the surrounding so what point does the writer make that is the point question number 32 please uh 32 what is said about the buses automated announcements you know in uh, in lahore we've got uh, metro automated announcement they say all right the next stop is gajumata yeah <laughs> gajumata is the next stop so these are actually announcements so what is said about the buses automated announcements they are automated it's not the driver presses the button automatically they just do that so let's look for the word automated announcements okay now please come to third paragraph second page and last okay come to last three lines like switzerland itself are you there like switzerland itself post buses speak all four state languages in switzerland they speak four languages german french italian in three languages i have my video courses available on youtube german french italian and uh, spanish spanish okay german french italian and romanash uh, romanch and by law their automated intercom announcements now be careful and by law their automated intercom announcements are given in the language of whichever canton the bus is currently passing through 
if the bus is passing through german canton there'll be german announcements if it is through french there'll be french announcements and all that now come back what is said about the buses automated announcement a they are given in the language of the bus driver starting point no cross it option b the language they are given uh, given in depends on where the bus is at that time different canton select it option c they are always given in all four languages of switzerland right not all four languages okay so it's not that option d the language they are given uh, in depends on buses destination how masterly no no canton is not the name of the area listen whichever canton the bus is currently passing through canton means area guzar rahi hai to question option kya hai the language they are given depends on the bus's destination destination means the last stop right so manzile maksood yeah thank you maksood <laughs> very good clear very good so the right answer is option b is this clear now whole mechanism and all that pole camera band kar yaar nahi kaka kal ka naam tha aaj pole hai कल पप्पू होगा